Little wins, right? Yeah. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. This is Dave from Retired Time Productions. And in my uh, previous videos, we were working with the Mini Pixhawk, and this is going to be the third video in the series. Now, the first video, we went over how to wire up the Pixhawk with this uh, Neo M8N GPS and all the other wiring, and I made a schematic for that and posted it with the first video. In the second video, I went over how to configure it and also how to calibrate the Mini Pixhawk with the Mission Planner. And these things apply, actually will apply as far as configuring and stuff like that to the regular Pixhawk too. So you can use it for the regular Pixhawk as well. This is the same firmware on this one. And I'm using the current stable version which is 3.3. And you can download and install that on the Pixhawk or the Mini Pixhawk. Doesn't matter. Okay, now this is the third video. And what we're going to be doing is tuning the PIDs using Auto-Tune. Auto-Tune actually takes the quadcopter and rocks it back and forth while it's flying and determines what the PIDs are for the pitch roll and yaw. So uh, some of the problems with that are that the uh, batteries don't last long enough for it to get through Auto-Tune, but with version 3.3 you can now divide it into different sections. So if you just want to do say the roll only you can do just the roll PID tuning, uh, land it, save the settings, and then change the parameter so you can do pitch. Do pitch, and then change the parameter and do yaw. That way you have a chance to change the batteries each time and have fresh batteries. So let's get into just what we need and how to configure it to do that, and then we'll take it outside and try auto-tune. Now some of the things we're going to need to do this are a tablet. This is an Android tablet and uh, the telemetry ground radio which is right here which is going to talk to the quadcopter and an OTG cable to connect the telemetry radio to the tablet. And then we have the applications loaded on here which I'll talk about too. And this is so we can change those parameters so we can set uh, pitch roll and yaw to happen by themselves one at a time and we can do it right from the tablet and we can download the new settings afterward and see what they are on the tablet and see how it changed and save them to a file if we want to. Now taking a look at the mission planner there's a few things we have to set first. So let's go into initial setup right here and then if we go under uh, mandatory hardware we'll go to flight modes. Now you need to make sure that you have altitude hold available in your flight mode settings. So I have mine available right there so I can switch from stabilize to altitude hold because we need altitude hold in order to do auto tune. Okay, now let's go back to uh, configuration and tuning right here. Now in there if we go to uh, extended tuning right here make sure that you have a switch on channel 7. I'm using my return to home switch which I've set up make sure you have that on auto-tune. So you have some switch you can flip, usually channel 7, that will go to auto-tune. You can also use channel 8, but I have auto-tune set up right here. So we're going to go into altitude hold with one switch and then go to auto-tune with the other switch. So we need those two things. Okay, now let's look at the uh, parameters that are actually going to get changed and the ones that we actually need to change to select the different modes of auto-tune. So one thing you can do is just hit find and then type in auto-tune like that and search. And you'll have to have version 3.3 3, um, in order to have this feature. So there it is right there. There's these three auto-tune parameters. Now the one we're going to be changing is this middle one, Auto-Tune Axes. And we're going to start out with Roll. It's set on Roll for number one right there. And then later we'll do Pitch and we'll change this number to a number two. And as we change these numbers we can write them with the right params button over here. But we'll actually be doing it with the tablet using that interface through the telemetry radios while we're outside. So let's take a look at that next. So here is the Android tablet, and I have it connected via the telemetry radios. Here is the ground radio, and the air radio is over here on the quadcopter, mounted on the quadcopter, and it's talking to the Mini Pixhawk. 
So say we want to do an auto tune and we want to make sure we're just doing say the roll axis. So here's the two pieces of software you need, 3DR services and tower and you can get those free off the internet. So I have them already installed. I'm going to go into tower right here and I don't have a screen grabber so I, I just have to look at it with a camcorder. Okay so now what we do is you can pull this menu out here, go to parameters there we go and now I want to type in and look for auto-tune so I select that and then type in auto-tune okay and then it finds them and what I want to do is change these are the same parameters we saw in the mission planner I'm going to change auto-tune axes right here so we come over here and right now it's a one so it's going to be doing uh, roll right now but say we want to do pitch so I swipe this and then back up put a 2 in right here now we got a 2 and then we need to upload that parameter to the quad do the upload okay say I want to do the yaw just swipe that this time I'm going to change it to a 4 so it's 1, 2 and 4 for the roll pitch and yaw so now we got a 4 and now we need to upload that it says one parameter is uploaded okay now we're ready and that's all we have to do on the tablet, and then the rest is on the radio. All we do is flip the switches to put it in altitude hold, and then flip the switch to put it in auto tune. Oh, one more thing. I put some foam underneath the mini Pixhawk right here, covering the barometer. And the reason I did that is I was having some fluctuations in altitude hold where it wouldn't hold position, and it would kind of go up and down about 10 to 20 feet when the wind was blowing on the barometer. So I had to do something about that, so I put some foam under here as recommended on RC groups. And if you're wondering about the barometer, here's a picture of the bottom of the board. And that's the barometer right here. It's a little metal can with two holes in it, and it's actually on the bottom. So I just sandwiched some foam from one of those cheap paint brushes that you can get at the hardware. Just cut some foam off of that. They're about less than a dollar for those paint brushes, and it seems to work pretty good. Okay, so let's go outside and give auto-tune a try. You don't have it armed though. No, I'm gonna arm it. Here we go. Alright, it's armed. Ours is so I went down a little bit while you were over there too. Well, you're getting waypoints for it. That's not good. Guessing where you're at based off the solar armor, it doesn't let me know. Okay, it's doing it now. Now, oh, look at this. A wide variation that time. It did the little ones at first, now it's doing wider. On that one side only, though. That, every time it does that, it drifts away. Well, let me do this. Let me turn it around. See, now we go back the other way. <laughs> At least it saves energy by just turning it instead of running it all the way back. Yeah. Need to raise altitude a little bit. Alright, I'm going to turn it this way and raise it up a little bit. Or more this way. Now we can just go down the golf course heading to the green. It's getting subtle now, see that? Like it's almost honed in on it. See that? It's almost honed in on it. It's not doing it as violently.
Well, they told me in the directions you got to go back to the normal mode, yeah. then back to this, and then power down. Mm -hmm. so go to normal. It's not doing anything. The thing it is, is just we're going really slowly. Can I do your thing, toggle the switch, and then get into normal? Okay, go into normal, then back to this, and then disarm. Let's see if it saves it. At disarm. Well, if you would go to uh, the rates for pitch, roll, and yaw, or it's under rates. R A T. Well, now you might not have downloaded the parameters. Oh, that's true. Nice. Rate roll I three seven nine. Oh, that's different. That's changed. And the isn't D it? is two seven. It was a 003 earlier. Oh, so it did change something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it did do it. So after doing auto tune on the roll axis, we went ahead and changed the parameter for auto tune axes from a one to a two and did the pitch. Then after doing pitch, we changed the parameter to a 4 and did yaw. And over here are the results. So these results are a little bit higher. You can see the values are higher than the manual values I put in earlier uh, just so I could fly it. So these results seem to be a little bit high, but the quadcopter flies fine. So I think it worked out pretty good and it saved me a lot of time playing around with the PIDs. So there's the results, and now we'll move on. In the next video, we're going to be adding FPV to the quad and setting that up. So stay tuned for that video, and uh, post any comments or questions you have under the video, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Take care, bye.